Hey guys, I'm just going to talk about something that uh, could be very helpful for your, for your health. Uh, later on in this video, I'll give you an example how it's helped me. Um, now, um, a lot of people talk about the fact that most people are deficient in selenium, magnesium, but I think one of the things that people not don't talk about much uh although there are a lot of good very good videos on this um there's a lot of propaganda you know saying that copper is uh bad for you well you know anything uh in extreme is bad for you but most people are deficient in yeah uh magnesium everybody knows that but also copper and copper is equally if not more important now, um, you know, deficiency causes things like, you know, uh, grain of the hair, uh, thyroid issues. Um, yeah, so grain of the hair, thyroid issues, um, wrinkles. Uh, apparently, it's um, it helps to keep you young looking. Um, um, now... The big thing about copper there, I don't think that there, it's included, you know, it's got a long history of people using it, including, it's still used by an Ayurvedic medicine, an Ayurvedic medicine, if I can find it, uh, Ayurvedic medicine, if you look there, is an ancient health care tradition that has been practiced in, in India for at least 5,000 years. And they still use copper in their system. Um, and the ancient Egyptians were obsessed with copper and turquoise, but this video is about copper. I'll just read this quickly. As copper is a conductor, and um, the human body is basically electric, as, you know, we have a, we're electric beings, basically, in an electric universe. As copper is a conductor of heat and electricity, it is also considered a conductor of one's spiritual energy, moving it back and forth between people or as crystals in the spirit world said to be able to amplify one's thoughts sending and receiving psychic communication so copper will also help with that uh you know to help with the uh abilities usually associated with the third eye or pineal gland also said to combat laziness and lethar lethargy passivity as well as non-acceptance of oneself. It may stimulate optimism, initiative, independence and diplomacy. I'll just stop there for a minute and say that um, there's a thing in the body called ATP and this is the main in well, ingredient, if you want to call it that, that produces energy, that gives you energy, um, physical energy. Um, ATP relies on two main elements to be produced, copper and magnesium. So if you're often fatigued, um, don't have as much energy as you think you should have it could be copper and magnesium I would get those two checked out um, it will assist in offering the understanding that it is necessary to release all of the restrictions that one has installed within the self while in the search for love or the seeking of one's believed life it provides a harmonic connection between the physical and astral bodies while aligning the subtle bodies as well. Said to be the bestower of good and the bringer of luck, copper is said to especially bring positive energy in the recovery of property or p 
positions when lost or fallen into the wrong hands. So it's not only good for you, it has, it's good spiritually and it's good for, reportedly good for luck, etc. Now, if you haven't studied the ancient Egyptians, they were, I mean, the very effect of that they were into mummifying things, they were into longevity and, you know, uh, keeping yourself looking young, etc. And, um, yeah, making your life um, longer. Um, case in point, it's not just copper, there are many instances. Um, if they say that they were also, ancient Egyptians were also into a powder or drink, uh, more commonly a powder, but you can make it into a drink, uh, called mana, M-A-N-A, -A. Uh, mana from heaven, I think it talks about that in the Bible, in ancient texts, um, and these days uh, people associate mana, the powder, uh, with um, warmers. So you could say that uh, the ancient Egyptians were also into Ormus, which is good for the pineal gland and overall health and lots of things. So if you want to do some research on Ormus too, O-R-M-U-S, orbitally, orbit, orbitally rearranged monoatomic atoms or something like that. Um, just look it up, Ormus. Um, now, I've spelt obsessed there. And wrong. <laughs> um, so, yes, now uh, let's... Let's look at... So this... That's one... Uh, YouTube guy you can go and look at, Soul Voice, in the video is there, why ancient Egyptians were obsessed with copper, but there are obviously some more, this one, um, you want to go and have a look at this, this is by Mia's new pair of glasses, it's very good with tell for telling you, getting to the details of what copper can and how it's good for you and why, for instance, see, she says here, why our ancestors drank water from copper containers, good for digestion, promotes faster recovery, slows down aging, good for thyroid function, healthy for heart, kills bacteria, promotes brain function, prevents um, anemia and arthritis, and much, much more. So, uh, now a good way to get Make sure you get uh, the right amount of copper. Um, is to drink, get, buy a copper vessel um, and put your water in it um, and leave it overnight and then drink it in the morning. Now some people say don't leave it more than you know six to eight hours um, because like everything else. You can do too much, but you definitely want to uh, get a copper vessel and, you know, drink from that. Um, now you might say, let's have a look. Wait for this. Okay, so, here's an article. 10 benefits of drinking water from a copper vessel. So let's have a, apart from anything else, uh, you know, copper vessels look pretty cool. Um, most of us read of a uh, grand president's uh, drinking water stored in a copper vessel is beneficial for your health. So remember through all this that it's um, still, they do this in uh, Ayurveda medicine, which is uh, approximately 5,000 years old, and they still do that today. Um, and also they used to do it in ancient Egyptian times. 
According to Ayurvedic, why is it good for you? According to Ayurveda, water stored in a copper vessel has the ability to balance all the three doses in your body, vata, kapha, pitta, and it does so by positively charging the water. And don't forget, guys, we're electric beings. The water stored in a copper vessel is known as tamarajal, and is supposed to be consumed after storing water in a copper vessel for at least eight hours. When water is stored in a copper vessel, the, the copper gently leaches into the water and lends all its positive properties. The best part about this water is that it never becomes stale and can be stored this way for long periods of time. Oh, that's interesting. Here are the benefits. Can kill bacteria. I'll just run through these quickly. Um, I'll put a link to this article um, in the description. Uh, kill bacteria. So if you fear that your water may be contained, stored in a copper vessel before you drink it, and rest assured you'll be drinking healthy and clean water. Stimulates your brain. Our brain works by transmitting impulses. The neurons sheath called the myelin sheath that acts like a conductive agent, helping the flow of pulses. Apart from that, copper is known to have brain stimulant and anti-convulsive properties. Regulates the working of the thyroid gland. Beats arthritis. Cop copper is one of the most important trace mineral minerals the thyroid gland needs to function optimally. For though all those having problems with your thyroid, or you know you don't you don't want problems with your thyroid. Now, don't forget that uh, if you ever I think it's hyper or uh, hypo. Uh, active, uh, gland, uh, your, your, um, you're gonna have lack energy. Um, now, beats arthritis and inflamed joints. Copper has very potent anti inflammatory properties. You can read about that there. Skin health and melanin production. Um, so melanin, while melanin helps the body stay safe from sun damage, speeds up wo wound healing and covers up scars. Um, Ayurveda experts say that drinking this water on a regular basis, especially in the morning, can be the difference between acne and clear skin. So if you suffer from acne at all. Slows down the aging. If you're worried about the appearance of fine lines, copper is your natural remedy, packed with very strong copper fights off free radicals, one of the main reasons for the formation of fine lines. Both these properties make copper a surefire way to beat fine lines. Helps the digestive system perform better. One of the most common problems occur these days is indigestion. Uh, apart from the copper, it also helps cleanse and detox your stomach, regulates the working of your liver and kidneys, and aim, aids in the popular, aids in the proper elimination of waste, and ensures the absorption of nutrients from food. Now, <clears throat> just on this, uh, da, 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 regulates the working of liver, kidneys. Um, personal experience, I saw someone else talking about this too, um, and I only, uh, I, when I heard them talking about it, it's, Put me on this. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I sometimes I used to wake up with a uh, sore lower back, and then uh, I think it was my kidneys, and ever since I've been having more copper, that's not a problem anymore. Anyway, a bit of rush through this. I'm running out of time. AIDS and weight loss beats anemia. Helps wounds fast. Helps maintain cardiovascular health and beats hypertension. Can fight off cancer. Okay, now, so, where can you get a, um, hopefully I've still got it here, here we go, go to Amazon, and pick up a vase like this, it's only $9, okay, so you can pick them up fairly cheap, um, pick up one of these for 26 but it's well worth it. So there you go. You get a um, handmade copper. Look on Amazon for handmade copper. They are the best and the cheapest. Okay. Cheers, guys.